Hi guys! So today I'm going to talk to you about drugstore blushes. I have four of them that I want to talk to you about specifically and I'm just going to hop right into it. So the first one is of course e.l.f. Um, sorry about my nails, I'm getting them done today, okay? <laughs> um, it, this one is called Candid Coral and it looks like that. It's a shimmery peach. It's very pretty. Uh, it goes on lightly, so you have to keep building the color to actually get it to show that how you want it, if you really want the color to show. But if you like a light blush and you just want a little glow and you're looking for something cheap and shimmery to give you a dewy effect, this this one's muy, muy bueno right here. Um, and it even comes with a little mirror for you. Um, and that's the packaging. <laughs> and I really, really like that one. I'll even see if you, this... Sorry if it doesn't show up great for the lighting. I'm doing my best with the camera that I have. Okay, so the next blush that I want to talk to you about is Milani's Baked Blush. This one's in Dolce Pink. And this one gives you 3.5 grams of product. I don't know how much product is in the e.l.f. one. It doesn't say on the back and I threw away the box. Oops, sorry. But it is what it is. Um, so I'm going to swatch this one for you. And this one's very, very shimmery. More shimmery than the e.l.f. one. And it's very pretty, especially if you put it on lightly and then again just build up to your liking. In, let's see if I can... Yeah, so you see this one a little bit more. Yeah, so it looks like that. It's really nice. Um, it will last you a long time because it is baked. And yeah, I really like it. I even like the Luminesso one, which I cannot find. I have it. That one's more of a peach. That one's really, really nice too. So the next one, um, I don't want to bore you, so I'm going to go fast here, is the NYX Blush. Whoops. So it comes like that. And this one's in. Oh, I cashed it. Oh, oh, I'll get over it. Okay, so it's in peach. It looks pink, but they call it peach. And it's very silky, like smooth and silky. And just, I just want to dig my fingers in it, but <laughs> I won't do that. And that's what it looks like. It's very matte but beautiful and it goes on highly pigmented so I suggest you going light with it and then again build up to it but this one it's like for instance with the Milani one you, you dip your brush in it and you feel like sometimes you don't pick up the product especially if you don't have a great brush if you're working with you know mediocre like elf brushes and stuff like that you know it takes a while to pick up the product and put it on there so I, I just feel like with this, the product comes off quickly, and with this one, it doesn't. And that's possibly because it's baked. Um, but even with the e.l.f. one, sometimes picking up the product's a little bit difficult. And, oh, on the NYX, you get 4 grams of product. So uh, it's a nice amount of product. Now, the one I've been using lately, it's the one I have on, and you really can't see it because of the lighting, and I do apologize for that, but it's the Dream Bouncy by Maybelline. And this one's in Rose Petal, and you get 5.6 grams. I don't know where that 5.6 grams is because, for me, I feel like there's nothing in it. I like the product, but I just feel like I'm going to, one, crush it. Because you have to be so gentle because it feels as if there's air inside of it. And if you just push down, it's going to go, you know what I mean? And... Sometimes that can be really just that's it's really annoying when you destroy your product like I just gashed my NYX blush and I'm just like <laughs> Okay, I'm not like that, but you know what I mean? So um, that's the The cream blush and I'm going to put it here There it is right there and I really 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 like it and I just take two fingers and I apply it like so like that and then I go about the rest of my face 
So that's what I have right now for the drugstore blushes review. Um, I'm definitely gonna put, buy more drugstore blushes and then review those and then maybe even some more higher end blushes and review those as well. If you would like to see anything, please leave a comment. I would really like to do what you guys want to see. That's one. Two, I hope you subscribe because I really, really enjoy this and I would just really like to upgrade my camera and I would really like to just give better videos. This way you can see the swatches and stuff. That's really my main concern. I really want you to, because I feel like these aren't true to color. I mean, it's pretty close, but it's just not quite there. And I'd really like to give you the best quality that I can. <laughs> so thank you. Please hit the subscribe button. Please comment, like, say what's up, tell me what you want to hear about, and I'm all about it. All right. Thanks. Bye. Just trying to do my hair. And look, look, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. You can't do your hair there. You can't. I know why? Because socks. Socks needs to be itched. She loves to be itched. We could get this all day. I'm trying to do my hair. I'm trying to do my hair. Oh, you want to be itched. You just want to be itched. You're so spoiled. Oh, spoiled.